Hello and welcome to Milford Performs. I'm Brian Hopkins. And I'm Michaela Hopkins.
gonna bring it on home to you Got my ticket, I got that low Get up or go higher, all above Take my seat a right way back. Yeah. Gonna watch this train going down the track. Gonna bring it on home. Bring it on home to you. Watch out, watch out, make We're here with Right Angle Woman. Guys, that was really, really rocking. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> we aim to please. Well, you hit the target. There you I go. Try to. <laughs> I try to. Now, you guys have been playing together mostly since uh, 2009. Uh, uh, Paul, Brian, and Chris, you guys started uh, together with the band. And uh, Gus and uh, Steve, you guys joined in later. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But it's not like it's your first gigs. No, no, no not at all. No, you guys have been playing for for long times on on and off at times. Is that right? Yep. That's Correct. right. Yeah. 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 Yep. How much more on than off? <laughs> well, for me, it was a, a mostly off. I went for 18 years after college, not doing anything really. And then when my son started playing guitar, he fiddled around with it. Well, I grew up playing sax and drums, and I always wanted to play the bass. So I, uh, my wife bought me one for my birthday in uh, 2007, and Played along to CDs for a couple of years, and then finally got together with this guy to my to my right, Paul. Excellent, excellent. 
Yeah, been a, been a few off spans for a lot of you guys, mm. right? Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Reality um, does that. Mind you, we all yeah. got on Craigslist. Nobody knew anybody. Yeah, none of us knew each other. Uh, Nobody knew anybody from any. But not in the personal stuff. section. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, I, I, like, like Chris, uh, he responded to an ad that Paul put up. I responded to an ad, and, and then we were looking for a drummer, and we actually were looking for a singer first. That's right. And then we fortunately ended up with Bill, yep. who's great. And then we needed a drummer, and yep. sure enough, we, yep. we got a great drummer with us. Yeah, so yeah. we've been through a couple, really well. couple of lineups. We lost our original drummer and singer to life's priorities. Mm. And, uh, you know, we... Uh, I think we traded up with these guys. <laughs> um, yep. You know, it's it really couldn't have worked out any better. No one's crazy. There's no drama. Everyone's just normal. We go home. We go to work the next day. There's no. <laughs> it couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No <laughs> drama, but we, payola. Okay, yeah. give it over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it really, it really couldn't have worked out any better. Excellent. Yeah, Excellent. Really. Now, you guys have worked with a bunch of different bands over the years, including some that uh, are still playing around here. Uh, what, what are your favorite uh, memories from some of the gigs you played in those bygone days? <laughs> well, uh, I'll tell you, I can remember the first gig, high school, 1983, scared out of my mind, mm -hmm. and um, that was pretty memorable. I got that, <laughs> got that printed in the head for sure. Oh, you know? boy. I can um, imagine. And, you know, it's just, uh, just all the experiences that you have playing out and playing with different people and, you know, discovering what other people can do and, and what can bring, they can bring to the table and make the whole sound so much better. Uh, uh, my most memorable, memorable gig, I'll never forget this, uh, played with some guys out of Holliston. In fact, I was still in that band when I joined up with these guys. And uh, we had a gig over in Bellingham one night, and the only guy that came was Brian. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. It was Brian and a staff of seven people that worked there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I was lonely and I went up and. Yeah, you came up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. used the uh, quarter for a guitar. I did, that's all right. <laughs> uh, if you go to the uh, Right Angle Woman website, which is appearing now on your screen, you see that they, these guys cover a whole bunch of different songs. Uh, from a whole bunch of different artists. So which one of the groups do you think, the ones you'd like to play the most out of your list? That's a, we're big Zeppelin fans. We you are know. Big Zeppelin. Uh, Aerosmith. Yeah. Um, God, I, you know, whenever someone asks me, wait, hey, what do you play? I, I can never think of it. <laughs> well, it's not yeah. pin it down it's to anything. A, yeah, it's, it's, yep. yeah. You hear it all the time from our audience. We're like, you guys really have quite the uh, span of Musical yeah. tastes, uh, mm -hmm. the different decades. I mean, we cover forty years worth of. You know, very rock and roll, eclectic. So. We are all they we're, uh, they were always told we're all over the road with the types of songs we play. But we start, we're primarily classic rock. But we try to do some of the. I don't want to say. Can you call Foo Fighters modern? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> modern um, rock, I they're guess. from this century. They're from, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah. yeah. We're just. Uh, yeah. I don't know. We uh, we're always incorporating new songs into the set list. You know, we have to keep it fresh for us too. Mm -hmm. You know, we. Mm -hmm. Because um, it keeps it, you know, it keeps it interesting for us, and I, I love putting a new song in and working on it, and you know, gigging it for the first time. So but we play the songs that we love, you know, we we the songs we grew up with in some cases. So that's why, like you were saying, there's such a variety of of music f across like a huge span of different bands. Mm -hmm. It really comes down to wow, I really dig that song a lot. So, yeah, so, yeah. so you dig it, you listen to it. Practice it a little, bring it into the guy, yeah. see if it's going to work. If it works, it does. Yeah. If it doesn't, well, it never happened. <laughs> no, and that's happened. That's happened several yeah, times. A song we played a couple times, like this, just isn't working. And we we say, thought, well, there's you know, fifty thousand other songs you yeah. can choose from. Let's <laughs> move on, yeah. and you just yeah. pick another one. One of the beauties of covering songs is there's so no much lack. music out there. Yeah. There's oh, no yeah. uh, no lack of music to play. Yeah, and you yeah. guys get to pick the good stuff. That's right. Yep. We hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Whether we portray well, it as well, good. Yeah. 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 Well, folks, mm -hmm. check Right Angle Woman's gig list coming up right here on your screen right now. It's on their website. It's here on, on the screen. And go check them out wherever they're playing. They're going to be playing something they want to hear. I'm kind of guessing that you're probably going to want to hear those same things. Guys. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Really Thank appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks for appreciate having us. It. Yeah, we had a blast. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.
so I will make believe. But if it does come my way, your gift I will receive. So So this is another original song called Before You Go. We're here with Mike Rosacci. Mike, thank you so much. Those songs are terrific. Oh, thank you for having me, and, and thank you for, uh, for the comments on the songs. I'm glad you liked them. Yeah. Uh, the last time you were here, you told us that you do most of your writing on the road uh, while you're going back and forth from work. Is that where these songs kind of took their uh, shape? A lot of components of, uh, of these songs came from there. Yeah. I mean, un unfortunately or fortunately, I guess, I'm, I'm in the car a lot and driving a lot, so I get a lot of ideas while driving. 
come up with a lot of melody lines and lyrics while driving, and then you know, able to kind of work on them you know, afterwards to kind of finalize them. But yeah, some of the components for both of these songs have come into play that way. Um, and I think it's just kind of the nature of it uh, for all the time that I've spent in the car at this point. I try to be as productive as I can. <laughs> Yours is the car that says, has a bumper stick that says, Caution, uh, Musician Humming. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It, People must uh, think I'm crazy when I'm driving around singing. Um, trying to come up with the melodies to these, but, uh, but yeah, do a lot of it in that, still in that respect. Yeah, and, and you're still working down at uh, Music and Arts, yeah. and this kind of figures into your music a little bit, huh? Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's, uh, you know, do, uh, I work part-time at Music and Arts and put in quite a few hours a week there and have been for years, and uh, my full-time job is at, at National Grid, and between the two, it keeps me pretty busy, but uh, the cool thing about the Music and Arts component is that it kind of keeps me in touch with um, the local musicians, um, getting to see kind of the folks that are just getting started as well and giving them a, uh, as much assistance as we can and getting moving on and then also seeing the, the people that have uh, either a lot of years under their belt or a lot of experience under their belt and have the opportunity to work with them and know them and collaborate with them and made a lot of great friends um, through there as well. So uh, you know, it becomes like a, like a family of musicians pretty much. So mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> it's a great place to take part of. Oh yeah, well, all of my children had lessons down there. Mikhail is still taking lessons down there for clarinet. Yeah. And uh, speaking of children, uh, your two children, uh, Valerie and Jacob, were here just last month for Fiddler on the Roof. Uh, you didn't partake in this particular uh, play because I guess you were, pr it sounds like you're pretty busy. This one was a tough one. It was, yeah. uh, it was a tough one as far as there's a lot of rehearsal, a lot mm -hmm. of rehearsal, so um, it was gonna be hard for me to fit in work-wise. Um, but great show, it turned out really awesome. You know, the kids did great and all the, the, you know, the cast was fantastic. Um, but you know, I do like taking part in the shows when I can. It's a lot of fun, the full circle shows you know, with, the, with the kids and the adults really works out well, but this, this really was a fantastic show. And I felt badly that I couldn't take part in it, but um, yeah, the so rehearsal schedule yeah. was a little grueling, so yeah. uh, that, that would have been a tricky one to try to fit them all in. But. <laughs> have you been able to do any other shows since uh, the last time we saw you? Now, I've been spending um, most of my time songwriting. I, mean, I was involved mm -hmm. in a couple of uh, you know, things that we uh, that were done at uh, Milford Performing Arts over the summertime. Mm -hmm. Some mm -hmm. of the, uh, the summer stock uh, mm -hmm. plays, I was involved in those. Um, but uh, other than that, I've been trying to spend a lot of time with the songwriting. Really, really, mm -hmm. uh, any free time that I have, I'm trying to do with that. It, I, uh, it's a great outlet, um, and you know, so far, a lot of them have been met with some favorable response from folks that seem to be able to connect to the song, so that's a great feeling. So just trying to, trying to keep that going as much as I can. Good, good. Well, we appreciate you bringing out your new songs to us, Mike, and look forward to hearing some more from you in the future. That's awesome. Um, you know, I'm thankful for you having me. It's a great venue, a great place to be able to kind of showcase some of the new songs, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to bring more to you soon. Well, in the spirit of the show, this episode, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for watching Milford Performs. On Milford TV. And from all of us here at Milford Performs, have a happy holiday.